Hello, it's Paul Check, and welcome back to my video blog. Today I thought I'd teach you a little work in technique. Something very simple but very powerful. You know the one key thing you have to do for a work in technology to work for you? You gotta do it. <laughs> so let's get started. Working in, by definition, means using movement to accumulate more energy than it costs to do the exercise, energy and resources. So the way we do that is we follow a few key principles I've developed for work in technology or work in exercise. One, your heart rate should not elevate. Two, your breathing rate should not elevate. Three, should be comfortable to do on a full stomach. Four, your tongue should stay moist at all times. The tongue's part of the visceral system, so if you start getting too much activity and you're working out, the blood out of the core goes to the periphery and the tongue typically starts to dry out. The next key thing is remember, breathing is the basis of all work in technologies, even seated meditation. So when you're doing the exercise, make sure you're taking a full belly breath. Let the belly expand fully. Your belly should expand for two-thirds of the breath and only the last one-third should come from the chest. Also, you should have opening in the back. So when you breathe in, you should feel your thumbs moving apart. Like that. If the breathing's not right, then the rest of the technique's not right. So what we're going to do now is begin the breathing squat process. So all you've got to do, no matter where you're at, if you can even stand up in your chair at your desk, this will work beautifully. You're going to just simply do a squat movement and time it to your breath. So here I am. You're going to inhale as you rise. Through the nose is ideal, more parasympathetic stimulation. You're going to time the movement and the breathing so that when the end of the movement comes, the end of the breath comes. So this would be the end of my breath. That's the top of my breath. Keep the body as relaxed as possible, tongue on the roof of the mouth helps to keep the tongue relaxed. Our tongue often reacts to our mind. The tongue will tighten up if the mind starts thinking a lot. So by keeping the tongue, tongue soft, it helps keep you in a relaxed mental state. Another key tip here is, as you're doing the exercise, if you want you can add the arms. If you notice that your heart rate start to speed up, or your breathing speeds up, all you do is just make the exercise easier. So if you were doing one breath per full squat, but now you notice, for example, that your breathing's speeding up. One, if you're using your arms, then drop the arms. That makes it easier. But two, all you got to do is shorten the length of the squat. That makes it easier on the muscles. So we'll start with an inhalation. Now I have to time the breath to a shorter movement. So the key thing being, if you shorten the movement, you adjust your breathing to match the movement. Which means if the movement's shorter, you usually have to go slower to match your breathing pace. You can go all the way to the point where you're just going like this. Anybody can do that. If you can get up out of a chair, walk, you can do it. If you're stuck in a wheelchair, 
Use your arms. If you are paralyzed and all you can move is one finger, you can work in. It's that easy. Anybody can do it. One of the most important things to remember is that when you make the initiative to heal, everything follows. If you just think about it and talk about it, nothing changes. So even just practicing your breathing for 10 minutes a day is really helpful. And participating in your own life and your own healing is the first step toward happiness, wholeness, and feeling great like I do all the time, baby. See you next time.